Hello, good evening. I am going to tell you a story about the day I knew I believed. And then there's more after. I might have to break this up a little bit. Bear with me. This is a very personal story. It happened 13 years ago, Super Bowl Sunday. 2004 so it was January late January on a Sunday at about 9.45 I got this feeling that something was wrong I had stayed home I was on the couch I was sick I remember the TV was on I'm sure the game was on um, the game had ended or was ending I believe it had ended and I got this really strong feeling that um, something was wrong and cell phones were fairly new um, it's not something you just used all the time um, but I called my ex on the cell phone and it picked up and I could hear um, police sirens, might have been fire department. They usually arrive first. I could hear my ex saying my eldest son's name over and over again. I could hear my youngest son's saying my oldest son's name over and over again and I was screaming into the phone but nobody heard me and then I was screaming and then I would stop screaming because I wanted to hear what was going on and then I don't know how long this went on it couldn't have been too too long but it seemed like forever and I finally decided to hang up the phone Um, I don't know if it was in between the time, because I was told this, that I called my friend and told her something was wrong, and I was going to the hospital. There was an accident, um, and I needed her to call my school, because I was a teacher, to tell them I wouldn't be there. In the meantime, my ex called and told me there was the accident was really bad and I was short and impatient and I said I'm going to the hospital and I hung up the phone on the way to the hospital I realized I could be going to the wrong hospital because where they had been was kind of on a county line um, when I got to this hospital I went to the dispatcher because they weren't there and I asked him to make sure that they were en route to the hospital I was at, which they were. Um, somehow my brother-in-law showed up before they got there. Um, My youngest showed up first. He seemed okay. He was talking. I think everything was fine. Um, my oldest showed up and he was vomiting blood everywhere. Um, I went with my youngest because my oldest went into triage. And they checked him over. Everything appeared to be fine. Um, CT scans, especially the abdominal area, um, seemed to be fine. Um, 
I was told eventually that, um, well, because it, my oldest was a head injury, I'm sorry. My father was called in um, as the neurologist. When I went to him and asked him, how bad is it? He just had tears in his eyes and he couldn't say anything. So I turned to the emergency room doctor and said, how, biz how bad is he? And he said, we don't think he's going to leave this hospital. They couldn't stabilize him enough for air med and certainly not for an ambulance. So I asked to go and speak to him. They didn't think it was a good idea. So then I demanded that I go and speak to him. That I wasn't going to lose my mind. I wasn't going to lose, lose it and they were going to have to drug me. But I needed to speak to my son because this might be the last time I get to speak with him. So I went in the room and oh, one part of his head was as big as a softball. I was up against his left ear as close as I could get holding his hand and asking him to please hang on that I wasn't ready yet and whatever we had to face we'd face it together and other things I can't remember but I wasn't too long because I had another child I had to go see too also um, and I went back down there were x-rays also being done to make sure it might have been reverse x-rays and then CT scans so excuse me if I am out of order but then I was in the hallway my in-laws had shown up and my father came to get me and told me I had to go because um, they were going to take him by ambulance to the bigger city and a better hospital, children's hospital. So I told my in-laws to please take care of my other son, the youngest, and I was on my way. I was in the ambulance all the way. It was probably, it was at least an hour. And on the way, my son was vomiting and I grabbed the suction tube and I was suctioning it up after I saw the paramedic do it once. And he told me, ma'am, um, I'm supposed to do that. And I said, Sir, this might be one of the last things I get to do for him. Please let me be a mother. And he did. I'm just going to call this part one. And I'm sorry, but I'll record part two as soon as possible. And thank you for listening. It's been a long time. And frankly, I'm stunned at how upset I still am. But I can see it.
I can still see it. I can still feel the feelings. But I will continue the rest of the story. And I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you for listening.